Hi everyone, so today we're doing a review of the X201 tablet. Um, after doing an unboxing video a couple of months ago, we've been using the laptop since then. Um, so I'm going to show you first uh, what the laptop looks like. So uh, it's got a 12.1 inch uh, screen, has a nice full size keyboard, touch point and the track point down here, which is quite small but actually very very usable. Um, there's a fingerprint reader in the corner here so you can use it in tablet mode and laptop mode. A bunch of buttons to change the orientation of the screen and whatnot. A webcam at the top here and uh, this is the 3G antenna uh, at the top. We don't have 3G on ours but uh, it's there anyway. So I'm going to show you a bit of the ports on it. So on the side here we have uh, wireless on-off, express card, powered USB, Ethernet, VGA, power, and Kensington lock. On the back, there's absolutely nothing, just the battery. Uh, on the front here, there's an SD card slot and a switch to open up the lid. And on the opposite side here, uh, USB, headphone, microphone, modem, this is the hard drive bay, uh, which is accessible with a single screw down here. Um, this is the uh, stylus, so you can pull it out and it clicks back in and holds quite solidly. Uh, this here I believe is to put a little rope to hold the stylus if you need it and another USB port. On the bottom there's a access panel for the RAM and uh, that's it. So, so it's a uh, Quite uh, quite compact, but a little thicker than the regular X201 uh, uh, laptop because of mostly the screen, which looks kind of a bit uh, chunky. I'm also going to show you here the um, docking station, which we got. You don't have to get it, but it has the uh, optical drive. So Kensington, uh, Ethernet, uh, mic and headphone display port, which you can change into DVI or HDMI with an adapter. VGA, 3 USB power. Here you can charge a second battery. Uh, here's the eject. On the front there's a power button and uh, two speakers, stereo speakers built in. DVD burner on the other side and another USB and a key uh, which allows you to lock the laptop into the docking station. The docking station uh, and DVD does work on battery power so you can use it as a portable device if you want but it does make the laptop quite uh, quite thick with it. Also show you the uh, power adapter which is very nice and compact lightweight too so it's very good to travel with you know it doesn't cause any problems at all so uh, very good in that respect. Um, as far as uh, weight goes, uh, specs say just a little under four pounds. We put it on our um, kitchen scale and it was about 4.2 pounds. So uh, pretty close there, but I don't know how accurate our, our scale is. Um, build quality is uh, is great. Um, you know, there's no, I'm pushing on the back of the screen, there's nothing here. Um, and the chassis is quite solid, doesn't flex or anything. So pretty uh, good uh, build quality. Some people were complaining about the screen wobble I've seen. Uh, it does have a little bit of a wobble, I think it's just made like that. And uh, when you put it in tablet mode, just spin the screen around, flip it down, and you click it into place and now, and then that click uh, makes it really solid. So, so really uh, no problem for, for us there. Um, the uh, touchpad and track point obviously uh, work great. Uh, although it's small, it, it's really useful. I, I like it. Uh, my girlfriend prefers the, uh, the track point, so uh, at, at least both options are available now. Um, and the keyboard is great, of course, uh, the uh, classic uh, ThinkPad uh, keyboard. Uh, we were a bit uh, disappointed that there was no digital video port on the laptop itself, but you know you, uh, we can live without it. Um, so the screen is uh, is actually very nice. Um, it's uh, 
it's actually pretty bright. This is uh, brightness 9 out of uh, 15 and um, the uh, viewing angles are really good. Uh, you can go all the way to basically 180 degrees. Uh, sorry about the glare there, it's uh, light in my room and there's a window right behind me so um, but uh, the uh, the screen has really good colors all the way around and um, um, basically the brightness dims a little when you get to extreme angles but uh, the colors don't switch um, so that's uh, that's really good um, so as far as battery life goes uh, right now it's at uh, 5 hours and 32 minutes remaining on 84% battery life when the screen is dimmed a little uh, like I have it when in, I'm browsing the web on the couch or something like that um, at 3 or 4 uh, I can get 6 to 7 hours on, of battery life battery life does however suffer when you use um, when you use it in tablet mode, especially when you use it in uh, multi-touch. So I'm going to show you how uh, multi-touch works. I'm going to open up the web and I'm going to turn down the brightness here. Uh, it was at 9, I'm going to turn it down to 4 so that you can see a little bit better. So I'm doing a Google search for X201T here. And here, so I have the results and I can scroll up or down just with a flick and I can go backwards or forwards stuff like that I can uh, also if I want to enter text here I can grab the keyboard and you know, write whatever I, whatever I want and there you go yeah so there you go uh, that's a bit of how. Uh, oh yeah, and you can uh, can zoom in, and zoom out. Basically, everything you'd uh, you'd seen in you know kind of iPhone-ish uh, uh, functions. So that's a bit of uh, how multi-touch works. Um, so as far as uh, the speed of the laptop, it's uh, works very well. Um, it's very quick. Uh, it's got the i7 640LM processor. Um, boot up time is a bit slow, maybe a minute and a half or something like that. It has a bunch of background applications that need to run because of the tablet functions themselves. So, um, you know, that's just kind of part of life with those background apps. I'm sure somebody can do better if uh, they wanted to clean it up uh, real nice, but, uh, you know, we just live with it that way. I'm going to show you now um, how the uh, tablet function works. So I'm just going to flip the screen down here. And uh, we can change the orientation of the screen to, to landscape in any direction uh, you'd like. Um, however, so two things to note about the um, the tablet functions themselves. So first of all, if you want to use more than one language in handwriting recognition, um, you need Windows 7 Ultimate or uh, Enterprise, not Professional. So it comes with Professional. You'll need to upgrade if you want it, you know, do handwriting recognition in Spanish or French or whatever other language you'd like. That's not the OS language. So that's uh, to note because we needed to do that. Um, and the other thing is that uh, the the settings for the stylus accuracy they change depending on the orientation of the screen so if you do the calibration with the screen in this orientation if you flip it to landscape then it's not going to be as accurate and there's going to be uh, a slight uh, delay of about uh, you know not a delay but a, a spacing of about a couple of millimeters or uh, between the tip of your stylus and what the screen actually recognizes so that's a bit of a pain um, so that's to keep in mind uh, now so this is a Windows journal here and uh, you know I can write whatever I'd like here and check this off and check this off and I can
So it, it works really well. You know, my handwriting is not the best, but uh, but the recognition itself works really well. So really, uh, really great in that aspect. Um, we were really impressed. So uh, we haven't done any um, drawing. So I know a lot of people use tablets to do drawings. Um, so I can't I can't say how that works. Um, so you know I have no experience in that. Um, and uh, last is just I wanted to touch on the uh, speakers. The speakers on the laptop are you know they're okay. They're not very loud. Maximum volume is not that loud. And so are the speakers on the docking station. They're not that loud either. So you know just keep that in mind if you're kind of uh, hoping that the docking station will save you. Uh, it may not depending on what uh, you want to do with it. So um, so that's uh, our review of the uh, X201T. Uh, thanks for watching.